Ordinary and school. Two words I will never be associated with. Never, never. Where the heck did you dig these guys up from, huh? If you could all leave very quickly, we'd appreciate that, please. I need big shows, Jerry. Big ideas. Yes, sir, big, the biggest. Hey, I have a big one. Okay, honey, come on, let's go. You know the sci-fi musical, that's big, right? Um, I mean, it's oh, got uh, the aliens and the robots uh, and the lasers and these amazing songs uh, like Clay favorite. Calloway too. Whoa, 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 Clay Calloway? I love Clay Calloway. I know, right? <laughs> I mean, doesn't everybody? Yeah, 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 yeah. See, Jerry, this is exactly the kind of big idea I'm talking about. Yes, sir. So, uh, so what's the show called? What to call? Um... Gunther, you, uh, you want to uh, tell Mr. Crystal what it's called? Uh-huh, it's called Out of This World. Out of This World. That's right. Just imagine it. Ash? Uh, yeah, I got it. A spectacular musical that takes your audience out of this world. I want to run. I want to hide. I want to tear down the walls that hold me inside I love this song I want to reach out and touch the flame Where the streets have no name Sir, your lunch meeting with... Oh my... Not now! Moon, how did you get in here? Hey, he said not now. Psst. Yeah, I heard him. Thanks, Jerry. Are you telling me you got Clay Calloway's permission to use his song? Well, what if I told you I did? Oh, okay, so what? You got some kind of personal connection to this guy? How else would I get it? Mom. Wait, if you know him, then you could get him in the show, right? Oh, that'd be huge for me. Huge. Sir, I'm sorry, but seriously, you think this little guy from nowhere can get Clay Calloway in the show? Well, Suki, for your information, I am not just a little guy from nowhere. Consider it done, sir. I'll give you three weeks, Moon. Three weeks to get this show up and running, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. Moon, do you really know Clay Calloway? Come now. Jerry! Woo. Right here, sir. I want these guys to start work right away. Set them up with our designers, our dancers, whatever they need, and get them rooms at the hotel, okay? The very best suites, the whole shaboodle. Yes, sir. Yes, of course. Uh, hey, one last thing. Don't you ever do nothing to make me look bad. You got that? Oh, I will never let that happen, sir. You better not, or I'll throw you off the roof. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Take it away, Raul. Oh my gosh, is this really happening? Yeah! We're playing Bradshaw City, baby! Yes, we are. <laughs> Gunther, sci-fi musical? You're a genius! Yeah, well, Mama always said, Gunther, you're not as stupid as your papa. No, you're not. Hey, Suki, no hard feelings, huh? You have no idea what you're getting into. Whoa. Are you out of your mind? What? Clay Calloway? I'm like his biggest fan, and I can tell you, the guy is a recluse. Seriously, after his wife died, no one's seen him in over 15 years. Ah, oh, that's not good. No, it's not. Uh... Miss Crawley, I need you to help me find Clay Calloway. An address, a phone number, anything. But we've got to find that guy. Yes, sir. Think about it. There must be a higher love. Down in the heart or hidden in the stars above. Without it. What? Life is a wasted time. Look inside your heart and I look inside mine. Things look so bad. Try to see falling behind what could be over. Bring me a higher love. Bring me a higher love. Oh, bring me a higher love. Where's that higher love? I keep thinking of that love. That love. Bring me higher love. Okay, so this guy's coming in from this side, and it's like, who 
go crazy. And there I think we should have like this cool alien tango scene. Rum, alien bum, bum, bum. tango da, 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 oh, bum, bum. I love it. <gasps> Wait, I've got a better idea. What if it was like a big underwater scene instead? Underwater? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure of this. Write it down. Mm, okay. <gasps> wait, wait, stop your clicky clacky. I have a better idea. You can't keep changing your mind. Why? Why? Because in exactly 20 minutes, the stage crew are coming here to start work on our show, and we need to lock this stuff down. Oh my gosh, they're early. Ooh, and I want to have like this beautiful love scene. Miss Crawley, anything on Callaway? Not a thing. Oh, oh. Ah, Mr. Moon. We're your production team, and we're here to start... Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you're here to work on the show. And I would gladly invite you all in right now, but we should totally do like a battle scene. Gooder, no, not now. <laughs> I just need a little more time to, you know, hammer out a few minor little details. So would it be okay if you all could come back in like, I don't know, an hour? Or maybe four? And I really appreciate your patience. Thank you so much. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That was not a great start. Oh, look, it's a gift from Mr. Crystal. Oh. It says, um, don't screw up, Moon, or else. Ooh, I've got a better idea. What about the mambo and everyone's in space suits? A great idea, I think so. Da -da 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 -da. Good morning. May I have everyone's attention, please? Thank you. Yes. Okay, um... On behalf of myself and the cast, I just want to say that to be given this incredible opportunity to work with you all here at the Crystal Tower Theater, well, it's an honor for all of us. And I believe that together, we can make a show that'll take the audience out of this world. And a big thanks to Steve over here for staying up all night to make this model. Great work, Steve. And here she is, folks, the star of our show, Rosita. <laughs> That's you, baby! <gasps> the lead role? Trust me, you are perfect for it. <laughs> Wait till my kids hear about this. And so the story goes like this. Rosita plays an astronaut searching for a missing space explorer. Together with their trusty robot... That's me! Mm -hmm, yes, they follow the trail across four planets. There's a planet of war, a planet of love, a one of despair and one of joy. And each planet will have its own spectacular musical number performed by one of our terrific cast. And how does it end? Do I find the explorer? Oh, we have no clue what we're going to do at the end. Do there? No, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We do have great ideas for the ending. We just... All right. We've only got three weeks to make this reality, folks. Let's get to work. Johnny, you are going to play an alien warrior in a fantastic battle scene. Yes! Come with me. Johnny, I want you to meet your fellow dancers. Hello, lads. Uh, wait, you just said mine was a battle scene. Well, it is, but Gunther saw it as more of a, a dance battle. Yeah! Okay. Johnny, don't worry. You're going to be working with the number one choreographer in Red Shore City. Klaus Kickenklobber. Yep. Klaus will turn you into a pro in no time. Okay. Uh, Mr. Moon. Mina, you okay? Gunther said I'm in a romantic scene and... Uh, uh, I have to kiss someone. Yeah, it's gonna be an amazing, beautiful romantic scene. Uh, Mr. Moon, I've never even had a boyfriend or any of that stuff. Why oh, don't you worry? I'm gonna cast a great partner for you. Promise? Promise. Mr. Moon, we're ready to start building the rest of the sets and- Okay, 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 listen. I don't exactly know what they are yet. So, could you give me one more night to figure this out? Hey, this guy doesn't have it figured out, so we can't start work right now. Did everybody hear that? He does not have the show figured out. I'm looking into his eyes, and all I see is fear and a little bit of shame. Yeah, look, I think everyone heard you, Mason. Thank you so much. Good. We have work to do.